he said to the boy, Hey, you know, um, can you listen? I want to ask you some questions. What kind of mountain has no stones? In what kind of water there are no, no fish? What kind of door will not close? And then what kind of carriage has no wheels? And what kind of ox um, will not uh, bear a calf? What kind of horse will not give foal? What kind of fire gives no smoke? What kind of man that has no wife? What kind of woman that has no husband? Uh, what kind of day is short? What kind of day is longer? What kind of tree has no branches and leaves? Uh, what kind of uh, citadel has no officials in it? And uh, what kind of person has no personal name? Oh, can you answer all that for me? <laughs> I can, I can, because I read it. <laughs> all right, okay. So, the little boy was very composed and peaceful. I answered him after thinking a little bit only. So he said, Sir, a clay mountain has no stones. Yes, because some mountains just earth, it's no stones. So he say, a oh, clay mountain has no stones. The water in the well will have no fish swimming in it. It's also water, right? <laughs> The well water has no fish in it. Any door that has no panel cannot close. <laughs> he asked what kind of carriage has no wheels. So the uh, boy said, the carriage that's carried by people, we call it palanquin, of course, uh, has no wheels. Wow. The ox statue that's made by earth will not give a calf. The wooden horse will not give a foal. The deities, the male deities, <laughs> Mostly people think deities are male, you know. So, uh, male deities don't don't have wives. Female fairies don't have husbands. Wow, that's a lot to think, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't be able to answer that. Winter days are short. Summer days are long. Uh, the dead tree will not have any branches or leaves. Hmm. They still call it a tree, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's not wrong. Huh? The deserted citadel will not have any officials in it. The baby just born doesn't have any name. Wow, it's all correct, right? Yes. Okay, so Hang Thak just gave in one row of answers like that without pausing in between even. Mm -hmm. And then he continued, Now it's my turn, sir. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask you some questions also? <laughs> of course, what do you think Confucius answered? Yes. 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 He cannot say no, right? <laughs> he cannot say no to the kid who he has asked so many questions and in front of all of his disciples. Hmm. So I guess that he said yes. Ah, uh, he did not say yes yet. The boy continued asking immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he worried that if Confucius say no, then he has no chance, I guess. <laughs> Such a clever boy. He must have been born like a genius. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not like... Uh, often we have such genius or intelligent human beings on our planet. It's just rare, huh? Yes. yes. Now that we also have some young boys who went to college and all that, right? Went to university because he's a super intelligent for high school, yeah, for example. And many geniuses at young age, they play already piano or other instruments or having some other uh, scientific theory and stuff like that, yeah? Mm. So it's not often, but it did exist. Like the Buddha, 
Uh, the legend has it that one he was born, he already walked uh, seven steps. Yeah, and each step he walked, there was a lotus that uh, protected his feet already. Maybe that's why his mother died so quickly. She must be too shocked. Okay, huh? <laughs> his mother uh, passed away after birth. Can't remember how long, but maybe he's too, too shocked. Yeah, but in the old time, you know, uh, we didn't have a lot of good medicine for after birth uh, problems. Yeah. So she was maybe one of those uh, unfortunate. Or maybe she had done her job, her duty for this world, and then she was born in heaven immediately. Yes. Afterward, the Buddha went to that heaven to pay respect to his mother and also give her some uh, spiritual guidance and lectures. So is it nice that you are a practitioner? Yes, you can always see your parents even when they pass away and even can continue helping them to elevate spiritually. So that's the most filial deed you can do for your parents. Is that not so? Yes. 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 So, uh, this is a different kind of fil filiality. Yes. And to take care of your parents when they are alive is also filial. But to help their soul and to liberate them after they pass away, that's even more filial. Yes? Like in many Buddhist stories, that we have heard, yes, that even can rescue the mother from hell, yeah, even from the non non stop hell. Like uh, Maudala Yana, or like uh, mm, Christy Gaba uh, Bodhisattva when he was still a human being, yeah, remember, etc. Yes. What else now? Okay, so he asked immediately, the boy said, Now it's my turn, sir, may I ask you questions? And then he said, how come the the geese and the ducks, you know, they float on top of water? Why do the flamingos make such a noise? Their voice is so loud, like that. And the pine trees and such similar, they are all green, all four seasons. How come even in winter? Yeah, they're also green. You know, right? The pine trees... And similar trees, yeah, they are green all year round, even in, in winter. Many other trees, they lose their leaves in autumn and maybe look like dead and dry in winter, right? Yes. yes. How come this kind of tree is still green? So Confucius answer him, the geese and the ducks, they are floating because they have webbed their feet, yeah? And also use that like a pedal. The flamingos' voice is very loud because they have very long necks. Oh, Confucius is going to have problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what the boy would tell him, but I think he would have the problem. <laughs> yeah, because the tigers, they don't have long necks, they're loud, very loud, right? <laughs> lies and all that and so on and even uh, <laughs> giraffe has a longer neck even he doesn't make loud noises like that the giraffes they don't right okay no. well, I have never met them but I guess they don't they're not famous <laughs> for loud noises <laughs> too busy you know touching the tree you know reaching the high branches to eat okay and the pine family kind of trees similar trees uh, a green all year round, even in winter, because their trunks are very solid and strong and hard inside. Oh, Han Tak, loudly, loudly proclaim and laugh, he say, Oh, sir, that's not true. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, even though I forgot. I knew it, because it's so simple, right? Many animals have long necks. They don't make a lot of noise. Yeah. Yeah. E even the swans, the swans that I knew, they call them moot. They moot, you know? They just make very little noise. Their necks are very long also. You know, right? Yeah. You know, from my book called The, the Noble Wise, yeah, I talk about these swans. You can see how long their necks are, just similar to that uh, flamingo, or, yeah, that he said. Mm. So, uh, you say, sir, this is not true, it's not correct. Uh, the turtle, he floats on top of the water. 
not because they have this kind of webbed feet. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, the type of frog. Their voice is very, very loud, but they don't have any neck even. <laughs> Almost no neck. Huh? They don't have long neck. And uh, the bamboos, they're also green all seasons. But their inside is hollow. Is it true? Yes. Yes, the bamboo yes. doesn't have any solid and strong trunk. They're empty inside. Yes, wow. Yes. Converges, I'm so sorry. <laughs> really, I'm sorry. I always tell my disciples, I don't know when I don't know. I ask them everything from A to Z about computers. Hmm. And I even ask them often also, how about this? I cannot do this, I cannot do that. And they will give me advice. Yeah, and I always thank them humbly, yes.